Hello friends, in this video I will share with you how to edit a photo. At the Central Park Station in New York. The lighting section I shared in great detail the reason why shooting at night like this. And now I will go to the photo editing part. Then I will open the picture. First, I will brighten the overall image. Mainly for the distance, I brighten this part of the skin. I will add 0.3 stops. I look at the histogram I see. It's a bit dark, isn't it? So now I will balance by just looking at the skin. I will start by adding. Here, I see it relatively well. Okay, here is I seeing it okay. Once it's okay, I'll regroup. Then you see before, after. When I increase it too much, I will find that this part of the light is a bit redundant. Now I will brush it again. Scan it less. Because I wanted this part it wasn't too bright. I wants to keep all the details of his photo. Next is this part it falls out of the frame, it's not very pretty. So I will rebalance this photo too. I'm ready to crop, first I'll see if my picture is straight. Then I crop the outer part. Then it reached the dome. Okay, I cropped the bad part. I will group this photo. Then before, after, the brightness is just enough. Next, I will adjust the white balance for this photo. In this photo, I find her dress a bit yellowish. Now I will whiten her dress. By doing I will reduce the white balance and his skin is also slightly yellow, pale. Then I will go to my color cast except white balance. 1. I see it's still there. Next. Then I will watch the skin, I think 2 is enough. Then I will review my before, after like. Before, after. Pretty okay right? And now I will be glowing. This photo is quite far away. I will see that this skin is very small, I can adjust it very quickly. Then I lighten my skin. The groom's skin is a bit light. Then I will lighten her skin again. Into the groom's skin. And lower the opacity a little bit. Only about 50% off. Usually the groom will not be too bright. Okay, now I will adjust this part of the dress to make it whiter. By being I choosing this white dress. Now I group all these layers together. I choose the white dress. Before, after. After that, I will delete the part where this white dress affects the subject's skin. Then I would light the dress up now. At the same time, reduce the yellow color in the dress. Then how will I do it, I will group and I will choose dodge. Now, this dress is a bit yellowish, and the color is uneven. Now I will show you how to make this dress brighter and more even. You see that the dress is very dark, right? I'll light it up. Hit the block for it. And I will adjust the color of this dress. Then the colors it's uneven like that is very annoying. Okay. So how will I do it? First, I will go to color cast. I further reduce the white balance. Then here and now I will eliminate, minus the yellow. Then I found her dress more transparent. With the exception of yellow, I think the dress is much clearer, see? 
It has a yellow tint, I tried subtracting another yellow one. So now I will merge all these layers together. I create a mask and I command I or control I to convert this mask. Then I will change. Black mask on top, then I will switch to white mask below. I will transfer 100%. Then now I'm going to sweep into the dress. Now I scan the dress. Then you see that now my dress is white, it's not stained anymore. However, it is not uniform in color yet. A little bit, I will handle this even color later. Then you need to be careful when scanning, don't scan it out. With photos that are in complex lighting environments like these. Then I need to be meticulous and detailed, handling each part. Then it will be beautiful. And if this dress were so yellow, it wouldn't be pretty. I see it after I scan in. Then the dress is still stained yellow. Do you see? It will be difficult for me to handle it all. So how will I do? Now I will use a brush. Call it brush color. Then I will now choose option to choose this color. I can increase it to 50, 60% or something. 60% go. I'll scan it then. But you see? It took the color above it and applied it to the bottom. So now you see that the dress is really white. When I woke up, I just eliminated it. And now I will scan the color. And now I have a very beautiful white dress. See it? I zoom back. If I want a good picture, I have to be meticulous on every little detail like this. And if you leave the yellow dress on, it's okay. The photo will also be very nice, but it is not impressive in the color of the dress. The color of her dress will be yellowed. You can take a closer look. Scan each of these small points, then where it is still stained, I will scan it. Then you see that the dress stands out more. Before, after. Here, before, you see that the dress is very golden right? After, white. I can make the image more different by adding contrast to the image. Then when I add contrast, the picture will be clearer. You see before, after. This dress it will be brighter. And there are some points if I want to keep, I will scan in. For example, the subject skin, if you see that this contrast is too bright, I will reduce it. About 40%. Then if the dress I find contrast looks better, I will brush contrast in. Make the dress stand out more. Again, I always remind you that editing photos depends on each person's taste. It won't be the correct size. It's just a matter of how you like it, for example in this photo. Then after I has finished adjusting the color of the dress, you see that you have spent a lot of time just to process the color of the dress. Do you see? This. This is before. And the color of her dress. Then you can merge this layer. I can make blocks for this dress. That way I will darken the areas I want to darken. And I light up the areas I want to light up to add more emphasis to this dress. Well, now this dress of mine is evenly colored. It is very beautiful. Then I can block it. Where else do you want it to be really pure white? Then you can scan more colors like Bouncing Sam to guide you. Then Sam usually plays blocks like this. I will see that in the light and dark parts, the picture is more harmonious. In addition, another difference is that you see how I deletes these people. Now with such a crowded environment, deleting people is impossible. So now I will use a brush that is motion blur. Please note that opacity and flow are set to 100%. Then I will change the part where opacity is back. Stay here if you like. With this motion blur, I just need to scan the subject and I will see that they are blurred. So this is what I create an impression for my photos. 
Then with this motion blur, you will scan carefully. It's like they're moving this as an effect where people think they're taking this photo slowly. But the fact is that I don't take slow shots. Please scan carefully each person here. Then you see that deleting like this is very impressive. And for me to delete all the people in a place like this, then this is not possible. It's not even possible to do it. Note that I do not stick to the subject, because it will be blurred, it will not be beautiful. Then you delete if you find it too much, you can change this opacity part. To make it blurry, say about 85, 90%. Then it's not blurred at all, I can still see them. This depends on your preferences. Everyone will have a different taste. You can tweak this depending on your wishes. Or you want 100% always. Always dim. Then the deletion becomes very much simpler. And it's completely impossible to delete each person like this. This requires me to do it carefully and carefully. Then, mainly the parts that come in contact with people, we need to be careful. The parts that are far away are very easy for you to do. Then I don't need to be too precise with these parts. Here I keep scanning. This is New York Central Station, so there are a lot of people here. It's not just going to visit and take pictures. So it's impossible for me to shoot here with no people. Then I took care of all the people in this photo you see. The photo it becomes is much more impressive. Before, after. In this part, the sun is bright but it has no color, now Sam can add color. The flare. Then I have a lot of flare to choose from, you can see the light rail. Very much always. So here I choose as a simple color, I puts it here. I superimpose what it has now. Then it adds a warm orange color to my photo. I choose OK, and then I will go to this main layer and I will delete the border. Note that when you use these, you should delete the border, otherwise it will be exposed. Then I added a sun in my photo. Then if you like darker tone photos. Then you can make it darker. This is usually done, you see. However, for some of you, you like the tone it's darker. Then you can choose this Fuchs light. Press J, I choose to enter. I'll make it darker. Then you see with this, I will have a picture that is more artistic, it is darker. And if I wanted to, I could subtract the parts that affected my skirt. I scan minus. Before, after. Then it will focus more on the subject. It's a bit too bright here, isn't it? Then I can merge the layer, I burn. Darken this part down. If you see this step art, it's not mandatory. I can be so beautiful. It's also beautiful depending on the taste of each person. Then I will delete the part that affects this dress. 
You see that is also beautiful, here. I have before, this photo. Brightening, dress processing, color processing, blurring are very beautiful. Then I can darken it if I like the art. 